Just when it finally looked like the Nevada Arena project was building some momentum and just about to finally get off the ground, a bumbling fool with a track record of failed arena projects in his wake made the biggest mistake you can possibly make as an out-of-towner in a tourism-focused town, asking for public funds to build your facility that has minimal community benefits. That is what Alex Morello and his gang of ne'er-do-wells are seemingly now doing in Reno with all the local media outlets over there reporting his group looking to develop the arena project has now submitted an application for tax increment financing. In other words, receiving public support to finance a project that benefits him and his Grand Sierra Resort more than anyone or anything else in Reno. The use of public money for the Nevada Arena Project has been greeted by locals with disbelief and an almost over my dead body attitude. Everyone is fairly adamant that this is a non-starter and while we don't know publicly what the reaction is from Caesars Entertainment and the other casinos of Reno, I'm guessing the words massive pushback and up in arms would be the best way to describe it. To understand why this is, we need to go back in the timeline to when the project was first announced more than a year ago, September 2023, at a press conference to unveil some of the details. Nevada University President Brian Sandoval clearly said, well, he said this. And as I mentioned, there will be no public dollars invested in the construction of this facility. Mm -hmm. hey, Alex mentioned no public investment. Now, no one with Alex Morello or Morello Gaming or Grand Sierra Resort said anything of that kind. In fact, they only said the university would not need to pay anything for the development of the arena project. Of course, Morello Gaming purposely had Sandoval and the University of Nevada front this project to the public in hoping to sway the perception of it. They wanted to get people behind it, which is why Brian Sandoval was up there speaking in the first place. The no public dollars would be invested in the project line has kind of stuck even if it was never uttered by Morello or anyone associated with him. More importantly though, there's another recent factor that must be considered here. This year saw Morello pocket a cool $1 billion for selling the Arizona Coyotes and he has since reportedly renounced the rights to ever reclaiming that NHL team in the desert, meaning the cash is really free for him to spend. The general consensus in the biggest little city in the world is why the hell does he need public support getting this project off the ground after receiving that huge windfall? One argument given is that the facility would house Nevada basketball. That is of course true, but it would also be the home to Morello's minor league hockey team, host concerts and all types of other events as well. Really, it would just be a magnet to bring people to his Grand Sierra Resort and Casino. While the project may, and I want to stress that word may, provide benefits to greater Reno, the city as a whole, it is Morello and Grand Sierra who cleans up here. Suffice to say, it's easy to see why the fine folks of Reno are not exactly thrilled with this development. The rumor making the rounds is that Morello is now needing to ask for public support because no one was interested in investing in his project, being a partner with him. Hmm, I wonder why no one wants to partner with Alex Morello. Could it be, and just hang with me here, it's just a hypothesis, it's just a wild guess, but could it be because he failed spectacularly. He failed epically in Arizona trying to get an arena built. Morello just does not have the skills, expertise, or knowledge to get big projects like this off the ground. And this shows when he makes one unforced error after another that ultimately leads to his plans being derailed. We saw it in Arizona and we're seeing it now in Reno. This is a point I made earlier this year in the Coyotes ultimately doomed bid to build an arena in the Valley. It was a point that Coyotes reporter, noted Coyotes reporter Craig Morgan called uninformed. Of course, Craig Morgan is the same jagoff who charged people a subscription fee to read Morello propaganda on the situation. Hey Craig, you don't have a hockey team. Morello's making the same mistakes he made in Arizona, in Reno, and well, I guess I'm just still uninformed. To quote Jim Cornette, thank you, fuck you, bye. 
Returning our attention to Reno and the Nevada Arena Project, you can also see Morello might be borrowing a page or two from the John Fisher playbook for Nevada sporting venue building incompetence. Ben Margio at KRNV has done some digging and found a few interesting tidbits. Most notably, Morello and GSR have been buttering up local politicians with some low-level, quote-unquote, donations, wink. You know, the same type of donations wink that Fisher made to various Nevada politicians in the aftermath of the passing of SB1. Two things, by the way, which I'm sure were totally unrelated. Putting all of that off to one side for the moment, here's the deal. I think most people felt that the Nevada Arena Project, the GSR redevelopment plans, were a good idea as a privately financed project. Honestly, it was something that would have been streamlined through the approval process with shovels in the ground ASAP if that is what those running GSR wanted to do. That, of course, is not what GSR wanted to do. They now want public contributions. They wanted public support for an arena project. The arena project will, of course, help them bring in more profits, which they can divert to other parts of this redevelopment plan. And maybe, just maybe, the city would be more willing to listen to this proposal if it was just about anyone else leading the development. But it's Alex Morello. It is the person everyone, well, apart from Craig Morgan, saw flame out spectacularly in Phoenix. This is a business person who has shown should never ever be given the benefit of the doubt. In fact, Morello should be held to the highest levels of accountability given his previous misadventures. If he knew what he was doing, Sandoval never utters that line about no public investment in the project. If he knew what he was doing, someone out there would be a willing investor, a willing partner on this project with him. If Alex Morello really knew what he was doing, he'd still own an NHL team and not be scrounging up public contributions for an arena in Reno. This is not an individual who the public should ever enter into a partnership with. As hockey fans in Arizona, what it's like to be in a partnership with Morello. Just know this, Reno, one day when I'm rich enough, I'm going to buy the Sundowner, I'm going to restore it, I'm going to renovate it to its former glory and I will not ask the public for a single contribution, any support, no tax breaks, none of that stuff. Mostly I can say that because I'm never going to be that rich. And yet somehow my pipe dream, my fantasy is more real and sound than any plan Alex Morello can concoct when it comes to building an arena in Reno, in Arizona, or anywhere else in the world. Thank you for watching this video. Well, unless your name is Craig Morgan, then right here, buddy. Anyway, if you'd like to know more about why it's a bit of a travesty that the A's are not going to play in Reno for their temporary home the next few seasons, video upper right hand corner of your screen. And to understand just the terrible owners of Arizona, the terrible sports owners of Arizona, including Alex Morello, video lower left hand corner. Until next time, I am Cheyenne Hollis. This is the Touchback, and as always, hashtag take it out, the 25.